the Rafah crossing between Egypt and the Gaza Strip has been partially reopened after being closed since Monday. Thousands of Palestinians on either side have been waiting for the Egyptian authorities to ease restrictions. Egypt's new army-backed leadership doesn't have a good relationship with Palestinian group Hamas, who control Gaza and had supported ousted Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. Over a thousand people pass through every day when Mercy was in power. Now the crossing's been shut since the killing of 25 Egyptian police in Sinai. Describing his situation, this student says, if I can't cross now, I'll lose another term at university. This is a huge problem for Palestinian students in Egypt. It'll cost us more money. Others are fed up, like this man who says, I'm going to Saudi Arabia. I've come here to try and cross a couple of times in the past few weeks. I'm tired of it. It's not only Palestinians who've been left hanging about. I have been uh, waiting since Monday uh, to pass back through uh, Rafa crossing to Egypt. Here is, it's very crowded today. There are many, many, many people who have been waiting uh, for a long time. For people wanting to get in and out of Gaza, the Rafa crossing is the only one that borders Egypt and not Israel. Hamas has complained that Egypt has severely restricted the number of people allowed to cross since Morsi was deposed.